Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought we executed everything that we wanted to execute. I thought we made our plays. We ran the ball really well. We got some balls down the field. Guys look good. Tyler looked really, really, really sharp tonight. Uh, yeah, JB looked great tonight too as well. Running backs did well. Got the ball in the end zone. I think the offense line did tremendous tonight. So it was exactly what we wanted to do to be able to run the ball physical and, and uh, make our plays and, and uh, throw the ball down the field too and make some plays too. Um, and so I, I thought it was a great night. Is that more what you know Rashad Penny can be for your offense? Yeah, I mean, I thought he, he can do anything. You know, he's, he's physical, he can run downhill. I think also, too, is uh, you saw him on the empty play where he caught the ball. I gave it to him outside. He makes 12 yards of the 13, I believe, and uh, we go for it on fourth down. And I think that's just uh, the things that he can do. You know, he's tough, he's physical, he's quick. Um, you know, he's composed, so that, that was great for us. CJ has had a, hasn't played much until now, but he had a nice game tonight as well. What have you seen out of him, sort of in camp? Or what well, I think the thing with CJ is he he, um, he he he's a great running back. He catches anything, and he can run the ball really well. And uh, you saw him, you know, step in the hole, step back out, make some key, key runs and key plays. Um, you know, him scoring that touchdown I think was big for him. I think he was really excited about that. Obviously, we were all excited for him. Um, you know, he's had a tough battle trying to get back and everything else. And I think. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that uh, can really play a lot of great football. So it was good to see 22 make some plays. Russ, you made some plays with your legs. It kind of felt like mid-season, like, you know, the yep. rush was coming after you a little bit. That, that's kind of what you want. I mean, exactly what you wanted. Yeah, we made some plays on third down with the legs and, you know, scampering out and getting some big first downs and everything. And I felt good running, um, you know, uh, and then I felt really good throwing too and find some guys. And then, you know, some of the scramble drills and what we were trying to do and not trying to do, but it just happens naturally. And, I think we had some big runs there, so we got, we got to be able to do that. I think it's a big part of our offense, obviously, is when the play breaks down, you know, making something great happen. And we've always been great at that, and we want to excel and, and uh, really get our receivers moving with me, too, as well. And they did a really good job of that tonight, too. You, you obviously didn't get time playing time with him in this game, but what have you seen out of John or Sierra? Yeah, Urs is, is awesome out there. He's, he's always getting open, you know. You see him, he's got this, uh, he's got this uh, cat like reflex. He's got this ability to kind of make people miss, and uh, it's pretty special. So. Um, you know, he's a guy that scored, you know, led the, led the NCAA in touchdowns. There's a reason why, you know, he scored so much. With, uh, with Metcalf hurt, with Metcalf hurt now more down, what can Jazz Ferguson be for you with those guys out? Well, I think we, somebody's got to definitely step up. I think, I think DK will be back sooner than we know, but I think that, uh, you know, Jazz has a great opportunity to step up. I think um, there's a lot of guys that, you know, we're looking for in this next week, really, to be honest with you, to see who really, uh, see who really steps up in this role. And so, um, it'll be exciting just to see guys continue to compete. And I think Jazz has had a great, as you mentioned, Jazz. I think Jazz has had a great, um, you know, training camp and everything, and some great preseason games. And um, you know, it's gonna, he's going to be key for us, hopefully. Andrew Luck, the guy you came in with yeah. in the same draft class, just to, to hear him retired today. Like, yeah, that's kind of crazy, you know, to think about. Um, you know, I I think as fans and um, even as players, sometimes we forget that uh, you know there's life after this game, you know, and. Uh, I think that uh, a guy like Andrew, he, he uh, you know, one of the most dedicated guys. He's he's always been tremendous on the field. Um, obviously, he's had he's battled some some things in his life with injuries and everything else. And uh, I don't know I don't know um, what it was. Yeah, I haven't you know heard anything or whatever. But I, you know, praying for him, praying that he stays encouraged. You know, in this game, it was uh, can take a toll on us. You know, physically, but also emotionally, spiritually, everything else. And uh, I think that he's demonstrated um, it with class. You know, the whole time he's gone through everything and. Uh, being highly touted, obviously, um, you know, being the number one pick and everything else, there's a lot of pressure on him. I think that uh, he handled it with grace. I think he handled it really well, and and, and uh, you know, had a tremendous career for for how long he played. How and when did you find out about that? Um, Dwayne actually told me right right before we got on the field. I didn't I didn't know. I, he said, uh, "Hey, did you hear by Andrew?" I, I didn't know what happened. So, um, you know, it's it's tough. You know, it's uh, yeah, I think we. We all expect we're going to play this game forever, you know, and uh, the reality is um, for most players it's not very long. And uh, no matter how good we are or whatever it may be, you know, there's there's life after this game too. And so I think that's the thing we always have to balance and always have to weigh, which is important, you know. And, um, and so, um, you know, he's, he's, he's always been a tremendous person. I've always loved being around him, you know, the times we've gotten to be around each other. And just uh, like I said, uh, you know, just his passion for the game, his love for the game. So I know this has, has to be really hard on him. So just praying for him to stay encouraged.